Hi everyone and welcome to this new video about Matomo Analytics. In today's uh, session, I'm just going to explain what is a direct entry. So direct entry is composed of the people who are typing in your uh, website name over here, or website URL, plus all the other uh, refer, uh, all the other people who came to your website to which uh, no refer could be identified. So I'm just going to make a couple of uh, example. So I have a website up here where uh, I have some visits coming in and I'm going to simulate actually a couple of visits and show you how it's pushed to the system. So let's imagine that I have a PDF document such as this one and here I have a link so I'm going to click on it. Uh, I go on the website as you can see on this given page and if I uh, refresh this given page I will see that my traffic is identified as a direct entry, okay? Uh, that's what you can see up here. And the issue is that, uh, as you saw, I didn't type in, in the website name over here, right? It's just I came from a PDF document, but as this PDF document is not linked to any uh, website, to any refer up here, um, well, actually the data cannot be uh, cannot be identified and it's pushed as a direct entry. So here you see uh, the confusion. Um, so I'm going to now simulate uh, another visit. So in order to do so, I'm just going to clean all those cookies out. So delete all. OK, that's it. I'm going to change as well my, uh, my user agent like this. Matomo won't be able to identify me. And I'm just going to take the IBM that this time. Can I take it? Uh, okay, let's take, let's take this one. Okay, um, and now I'm gonna come uh, from uh, an email, okay? So this is an email that I sent to myself with this uh, given service. And here I'm gonna click on it. And here I have, uh, I have a link as well, so I'm gonna click on it. And I'm gonna land on this same page. And if I refresh, let's see how it goes. And here, as you can see, it has been identified as direct entry as well. It shouldn't have been identified as a direct uh, entry as this uh, URL should have been uh, sent to Matomo. So I don't know what, uh, what went wrong up here. I don't know. That's something I should investigate a little bit, a little bit more. And um, now let's see another uh, another case where you have your given uh, your given website up here, and uh, yeah, I may um, yeah I don't do I care? No, I don't care. Um, just gonna yeah I'm gonna click on this link back again. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna clear my cookies. Okay, and I'm gonna delete those. Let's see. No refer has been sent. Uh, so I'm going to delete all of that and I'm going to change as well my user agent. Let's take this time uh, Google Chrome OS or maybe this one. Yeah, let's take this one. Um, so we take this one and then let's go up here, right? And instead of taking this link, which has no uh, tracking parameter. Let's take this one who has actually some tracking parameter. As you can see, I have one parameter at the end saying that it was my PDF, clicking on it and then and then from what I can see, see this one is identified as my PDF. So normally what we should have seen uh, in this given example, the one of the email, uh, normally that's the web mail which is uh, which is pushed. So here as the action happened on the website, which was following one, normally it should have been sent uh, properly as tempmail.org, blah, blah, blah. I should investigate here a little bit more why it has not been pushed properly. But just to let you know that when the interaction is happening on the website, the information which is sent is the following one. Then Matomo is looking at all those information out plus the parameter which are sent along with uh, the, um, the page and the refer and identify if it's a search engine, if it's a, um, a PPC campaign or whatever, and then uh, sending it uh, to the refer. So just keep in mind that direct entry means that, of course, those are the people who came directly on your website, but as well the people 
from who uh, the referrer has not been identified and that's why uh, we strongly advise you to use the campaign URL builder which is here in order to help you enter and see the different uh, PK parameter in order uh, for you to happen all those uh, tiny uh, parameters that you could see up here and to make matter more able uh, to identify from where the user was coming from and this is possible when of course you control uh, your different communication channels thank you for watching